is Rob Grant. The Salford born comedy writer Rob Grant's legacy in the world of sci fi comedy is nothing short of extraordinary. As a wee lad, Rob spent a decade at Cheatham School of Music despite being completely tone deaf. Rob's later academic career didn't reach much greater heights, having only a brief stint studying psychology at Liverpool University, where, to use his own words, even though insanely liberal lecturers provided the exam questions months before the exams, he managed to fail his second year at university without ever sobering up. A big component of this academic setback was Rob and childhood friend Doug Naylor's burgeoning obsession with writing comedy, some of which they submitted to the BBC, unsuccessfully. But despite this setback, the duo was not deterred. So, between working monotonous dead-end jobs and sharing subpar accommodation, the pairing, later known as Grant Naylor, started to write comedy, eventually finding success writing for BBC Radio. Eventually, after much trial, error, success and failure, they created several popular radio shows, including the award-winning Son of Cliché, among others, and contributed material to just about every comedian of the time. As their careers developed, Rob and Doug moved on into television, supplying sketches for popular shows such as Free of a Kind and Carrots Lib. Their writing talent soon caught the attention of the producers of Spitting Image, with the duo eventually becoming head writers on the iconic comedy series. They even wrote the hit song, The Chicken Song, but we won't hold that against them. During this time, Rob also met long-term friend and colleague, television producer Paul Jackson, who would be instrumental in eventually getting Red Dwarf off the ground. Red Dwarf, Grant Naylor's most well-known and well-loved production, has its origins in a recurring sketch within Son of Cliché called Dave Holland's Space Cadet. The duo fleshed out their original radio sketch into a full-blown sci-fi sitcom, drawing on influences as diverse as old classmates, classic cinema and the best of odd couple comedy. Despite Red Dwarf originally being penned in 1983, the BBC didn't get it into production and onto screens until 1988. But once the uphill battle to get the show made had been overcome, it quickly became an enduring hit, cementing Rob and Doug's places in the annals of comedy history. With its unique blend of humour, science fiction and the odd gross moments, Red Dwarf continues to be a beloved show and a cult classic to this day. Rob's also had a successful solo career, writing the pre-medieval comedy series Dark Ages and the alien invasion comedy The Strangerers. He's also written four successful novels, Backwards, Colony, Incompetence and Fat, as well as recently co-writing the radio show Quanderhorn and the novel adaptation The Quanderhorn Experimentations. During 2020's lockdown period, Rob joined Paul Jackson, Ed By, and frequent guests for a number of Red Dwarf quarantine Zoom chats, discussing classic episodes of the show and sharing brilliant behind-the-scenes insights and anecdotes. Whilst not a stranger to Red Dwarf fan conventions, Rob's input at the 2021 Holly Hop online event really caught the fan base's attention. For the first time in almost two and a half decades, Rob penned a new Red Dwarf short script, into the gloop, and even went on record as saying that he wanted to write more in the future. The prospect of future dwarf output from Rob Grant has got the fans buzzing to know what might come next and when. Throughout his career, Rob Grant has been known for his unique style of writing. Witty, absurd, satirical, and always funny. Rob's writing is both entertaining and thought-provoking, with a sharp eye for social commentary that takes aim at political and cultural issues. Or to put all of that succinctly, he writes great, and I for one can't wait for more.